Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to me and my sister. Part seven. Today we're going to look at some common swing mistakes. And to demonstrate here of the most common swing mistakes we see on a weekly, daily, hourly, minutely, secondly basis on the on the practice facility over there. Yes, yeah, Tiski will demonstrate and please if you could have a look and identify some of the most common mistakes you can see in this swing. We'll run through them. Okay, uh, problem number one is that she takes the club the wrong way around her body. This is something we see very often among golfers, especially more experienced ones. They get fed up with, uh, with taking the club back the conventional way, this way, because it takes the, part, the, the club out of the path, the swing plane. If you could turn this way, okay, where's the, there? And then see what most people do, turn. <laughs> what, what, what most people do, <laughs> Now, now we don't have any fancy equipment, but you can see this is the swing plane over here. And what most people do is they take the club back, traditionally, like that, and they try to get it back on the same plane. This is nearly... This is, to some people, this is nearly impossible. So what they often resort to is, if you could turn again, is they actually start with the club, the club, turn this way, no, other, less, <laughs> stand back. They start moving the club this way and bring it back around to create a wider arc and then clear the left side. Now, here at me and my sister, we don't see a problem with that. Swing it your way, player. Okay, on to the second most common problem we see in the swing, especially the modern golf swing. If you could go through the motions again, slow motion this time, please. Just like you did. Yes, beautiful. Look at, look at that. Look at that. You see that? You see that last move? That's the Gary Player walk after the ball move. Now, this is quintessential textbook swinging a golf club. If we could see that front on, so you're walking toward the camera. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Wait, this way. Yes, that way. Okay. Now, Always remember players, you want to complete your swing. You don't want to get stuck on the back foot. So what Tiski does to counteract that is she actually finishes the swing and brings that right side through so, so much force and vigor that she actually starts walking after the ball like she owns the place. Let's see that. Beautiful. Textbook, textbook Ben Hogan. Okay, next, uh, next problem we see in the swing Let's go through that again. Slow motion, please. Ultra slow. If you want to identify problems in your swing, like a nitpicking nitpicker, I highly recommend slow motioning your swing. It's extremely effective in giving yourself the most headworms you could possibly get. Let's see it in ultra slow motion. No, no, too fast. Start again. Too fast. Look at the club face. Look how it's pointing down to the ground. She brings those arms over around her face, swings the club around the head, lays it off, brings it right through squared impact, and then follows through with a walking toward the target. Now this is textbook. I know we were talking about problems in the swing, but I actually don't see any problems here. Now here are some common fixes you can use to fix your swing regardless of how it looks. These are very generic. You'll see them in every YouTube instructional video. And believe me, none of them work. But let's see. Please face that way. Okay, let's take it to the top and let's pause at the top. Do you notice her wrist here? Do you notice that there's something in the wrist here? What most people are now advocating is you just bend that wrist. You see how easy that is? Look how comfortable she looks now. 
the, this is essentially the Dustin Johnson move, okay? Look at that, where the club is now gone. It's no longer back here, it's now here. This is much more comfortable. Look at how her, her arm goes across her chin like that. That's extremely power inducing. Now let's see the follow through from there. Oh, look at that, beautiful. That's how you generate speed. You wanna get rid I of that cup. Pose. I hold that pose. Bro. Did you hold it? I hold it. We'll get onto that next. Now you, if your wrist is like this, you definitely want to keep it Looks like a that. Looks a bit like a parrot. Yeah, but, but Tiski, what's this? I don't know, bro. It's a f***ing parrot. <laughs> but it's not <laughs> applicable. <laughs> okay. Something equally as important in the golf swing, it's often misunderstood by about 99.99% of golfers because no one knows what it means. Early extension. Let's see a swing. She's obviously early extended. Could you show us uh, front on view? Watch this early extension. Ah, terrible, terrible. You don't want to early extend. Oh, extend those muscles. Now, for any swing problem, we have developed the ultimate swing drill for every swing problem. Slice, hook, top, duck, hook, fluff, shank, everything. It's called the pump and dump many people have heard of the pump and flex we're not really that uh, into that one that's more like american psycho a little bit narcissistic pumping and flexing at the same time so what we advocate is the pump and dump method okay please could you take my ipad so we can use it later now in the pump and dump method you want to get a nice bucket like this one nice and clean with the bird, bird poo in it you want to stick it right under your legs like this Okay, really get it in there. Get in there, boy. And you want to take the golf club or broom handle, whatever. You can even use the iPad. Because the iPad also represents a golf club, as you can see. Wow. Okay, wow. but what I like to use is more like a broomstick. And with a pump and dump, we're going to be pumping, 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 dumping. Let's go through that again, slow motion. We want to go back, pump it, pump it, pump it, dump it. Let's look at it from the side angle. Get it right in there, boys. Right in there. Girls have a bit of an advantage here. You want to take the club back. Come join me here. You want to you wanna pump it, pump it, pump it dump it wow wow hold that pose what hold that pose that's how you're gonna hit better shots bro. wow 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 let's have another look let's have a look at another issue we find very commonly in the on the practice range and when we conduct lessons together Tiski and I world renowned um, PGA pros play golf a lot PGA play golf a lot pros and this one is what we call coming over the top watch this shot now please look out for the over the top move we'll show you from two or three different angles great put. now this is the over the top move okay that was a bit quick she didn't wait for me to talk because she is not, has no patience, she may be prairie dogging. Okay, take it and then pause at the top for me. And then pause a little bit more. Okay, this is the, also another drill you can use to really enhance your game. You can see the iPad can be used here on the back of the leg. To the top, to the top, pause. It can be used over here. Can you balance an iPad? On your hands can you do that if you can do that you're on your way next can you balance it on your head if you can do that you're well on your way now these are ways keep keep pausing no see see she she's not strong enough you have to actually keep it up there pause there as long as you can and then make a swing down now look at that over the top move now how do we counteract that guys I'll show you this drill that I've invented it's amazing 
you may have seen it before on this channel I'm not sure but you get a bucket right up there get it right in there boys right up there now this is called the pump and dump I may have shown it to you before you take the club back you pump it pump it pump it dump it this is how you're going to stop that over the top move that no one knows what it means now often in with a lot of amateur golfers unlike us pga pros what play i can do with my toes wow she's like a monkey she can pick up balls with her toes i don't play with balls with my toes anymore i gave that up about three weeks ago now a lot of amateurs out there unlike us pga pros play golf a lot pros pga they don't know how to align now you'll often see this this is a big mistake people make is their feet their shoulders the hips club everything is misaligned but here at me and my sister we have a fantastic drill to take care of this so if the holes over there my shoulders are facing there right yes you see now this is a common misconception so the holes over there but your shoulders are there your hips are there your knees are there and your feet are even worse now to get this right players we use a broomstick okay please put your arms out now this drill is going to get you lined up to the target <laughs> this drill is going to get you lined up straight <laughs> <laughs> Up straight to the target now always remember that you <laughs> okay. remember that you want your shoulders definitely to be nice and parallel to the ground and not no hunching you can't hunch in this position you see it fixes posture too move over this way give us a face on view of that look at that look at how perfectly parallel that is now let's take a swing no don't hit the ball let's take a swing a practice swing Look at that. Do you see how textbook that is? Look how that broomstick goes this way and that way. That is very important for a good shot. Could we do another one? Yes, as you can see, she looks extremely comfortable right now. And she hits the broom with the club. That is very important. You don't want to miss the broom with your club. Now, on top of that, because of these issues that we find in the golf swing, that we don't really know what they are. We just guess so that we, you can give us some money. We, we actually take the bin with the bird poo in it and we put it there. You put one of your feet in the bin. <laughs> now, in combination with this superb alignment aid, we also use a bucket. And this bucket with the bird poo in it, we like to use this and make you put your left foot in it so you can feel the weight transfer. So you have the broom handle through your shirt and the bucket with your left foot in it. This is gonna help you to swing much easier. Okay, as you can see, she's looking more comfortable already. Now, one more thing, to get that wrist angle right, we wanna eliminate the hinge and the bow and the cup. We want a nice flat wrist. What we do is we stick the iPad in the grip. Now this is going to make her be able to swing with better weight transfer. She's going to have better wrist angle and her alignment is going to be perfect. Let's see a swing. Look how much better that is. That ball went exactly where she wanted it. Everything's lined up and she's extremely comfortable. Now how do we take this to the course? How do I take this to the course? You actually wear these things to the course. <laughs> 